In these problems, we're being asked to convert between what's called radical form and exponent form. Uh, so just to give you a really simple example, if I wrote the square root of 2, we would say that that's in radical form. We've got a radical symbol, a square root symbol. If we wanted to rewrite this in exponent form, we'd write that as a 2 with some exponent here. Well, what's the exponent of a square root? It is 1 half. So the square root of 2 is the same as 2 to the 1 half power. And if you had the cube root of 2, that would be the same as 2 to the 1 third power. So the root, a root is a fractional power with the number of the root on the bottom of the fraction. So let's take a look at this first problem here. It says write the following as an exponential expression, and we have the seventh root of 14. So we just take 14 and put it to the 1 seventh power. That is the seventh root of 14. Let's take a look at this one. It's a little bit more complex. We have a third root, so we're probably going to use uh, something over 3. But the, our 7 here is to the second power. Well, when you have an exponent and a root, you can make a fraction where the exponent's on the top of the fraction and the root is on the bottom. So in this case, I'd write 7, and it would be to the 2 thirds power. So the exponent goes on top and the root goes on the bottom. Let's take a look at this one. This goes in the other direction. We have a to the 2 fifths power, and uh, we want to write that as a radical expression. So I'm going to make a radical sign. I'm going to put my a underneath there. Where do the 2 and the 5 go? Well, the, the top number of the fraction is your exponent, and the bottom number is your root. So this is going to be a squared and the fifth root of that. So that's our answer. The fifth root of a squared is the same as a to the two-fifths power. So that's a little bit of work converting back and forth between radical form and exponent form.